Hi folks, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Fisto. Is this gonna be a treat for you today? I, I can't wait to do this show. Uh, first of all, let me introduce you to the owner. That's Dr. Steve Brubeck. Steve, thank you for Thanks, allowing John. us to come here and do this show. Um, he has this wonderful shop called the Quail and Olive in Carmel Valley, California, right in the middle of the village. And let me tell you how this whole thing started. We have a mutual friend who kept telling me, he says, you've got to go down and meet my friend, Dr. Brubrecht, because he is doing things with olive oil that you won't believe. And I said, yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't come down here for a while, but then for some reason, I think we were across the street because our friends, Britons, are right across the street. And uh, I came over and I tasted these oils. And uh, let me tell you something. I tasted olive oil for the very first mm -hmm. time. I've been, uh, I've been around, but I'll tell you something. What I learned here is unbelievable. You really learn to taste the olive oil and what real oil is. But before I keep going, Doc, explain why you started this and, and, sure. and, and, the, and the, the reasoning behind it. Because yeah. you know what? People have got to know what real olive oil is. It's all yours. Okay, John, thanks so much. And My thank pleasure. You for coming out on this beautiful, rainy, yeah, windy is, day. Isn't it nice? <laughs> hey, we want the weather. You, you got it. We'll, we'll give you credit for breaking the drought. Thank you very much. <laughs> so um, I'm a cardiologist, and um, I've worked for years with my patients uh, with olive oil and heart preventative diets. But some time ago, I, I, the more I got to learn about olive oil, the more I realized there's just not any olive oil will be give you the good health benefits. It has to be a really well-made, fresh olive oil, stored correctly. And most of what's out there is not good. Now, how do you know that? Okay. Listen to this carefully. <laughs> First off, when an olive is picked, harvested, its biological clock starts ticking. And all the health benefits, especially these chemicals called polyphenols, which are so important for our health, they start to degrade. If the oil is not milled correctly, it degrades. So the first thing we want to look for is a harvest date. Not a bottle date, not a good until date, but a harvest date on a bottle. And you shouldn't pick up a bottle that's any more than two years out from the harvest date. Oh. Once you open a bottle of olive oil and start using it, we say you should use it within six, but preferably three months. Because these polyphenols start to lose their potency. Now, does the taste diminish also? Absolutely. It and does. that's a cool thing about this is that the, po the health benefits and the taste benefits are totally married together in the uh -huh. oil. So if I take a supermarket oil, Yes. And people go, well, I eat olive oil all the time, yes. Doc. You know, this stuff's great for me. Yeah, that was me. But they're losing out on 85% of the health yep. benefits because most of that supermarket oil, they're dead oils. They're long past their prime or they've been stored improperly. They're cheaply milled. They've been shipped overseas, uh, sloshing around in a tank of a ship. By the time we get them, they're dead oils. Okay, how about, is it real extra virgin olive oil? That's a whole other issue. That's a whole other issue. I think it's a huge international scam game going on. America is a dumping ground for other people's cheap oil because we don't, we've never learned what a good oil is. We think a good oil is a fat, buttery, greasy tasting oil, and actually that's an over the hill oil. And it's a dead oil and it's over the hill. Folks, this is what this program is all about, okay? What we got in our kitchens, maybe 70% of extra virgin olive oil yeah. from Italy is fake. Yeah. It's fake. Yeah, UC Davis yes. did that study. And, okay, go ahead. And UC Davis took, went into the big chain supermarkets in California, randomly took all the top sellers imported Italian olive oils. They found that 74% of them did not even meet the minimal international criteria for extra virgin olive oil, which is a lot laxer than what we could. Wow. we have in California. And of those 74%, 60% weren't even all olive oil. Uh, they were cut with cheaper oils. Wow. Now, does this only pertains to Italian? No, actually, this is a whole scam game. 
what happens is oh, the Italian yeah, oils yeah. aren't usually even Italian oils because what they do is they take Tunisian, Moroccan, and Spanish oil, it's shipped to Italy, sits in silos there, and then it's bottled who knows how long after oh, that my. harvest. Uh, yeah, yeah. But because it's bottled there and then shipped here, it's imported yeah. from Italy. And the Italian so, name is, is, Itali is yeah. the, it's the, the draw. Yeah, Italian's yeah. a big brand. Sure, you know? exactly a, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now how about South America and, and other countries? Well, is this going on also or is only when there's big money involved? The, the big money involved. Big. And actually, these two strictest certification criteria in the world are California and Australia. Wow. The Aussies are just like us because we're, it's a relatively newer industry. They're going for quality from the get-go. Wow. So, but the European is a mishmash. <sighs> Not that they don't turn out world-class beautiful mm -hmm. oils there, they obviously do, but for us to get them in one piece tough. is tough, plus it's a leap of faith to know you're getting the real thing. Yes, yeah. wow, wow. Well, I know when I taste it here, I went home. You could ask my wife. Everybody came to the house and said, "Hey, you got to do, you got to do this tasting." And we made them taste all these different oils. I mean, half of the people choked. And by that, <laughs> I'll I'll show you what that means. <laughs> because we I, almost killed you one I, day. Oh <laughs> my God! I'm real sensitive to the to the. We'll, we'll show you. It's really it's very interesting, and and uh, I mean I'm so excited about turning people on to it. I got so many oil. I'm getting rid of all of them, and no, by love, replacing them with your stuff. And oh, uh, I mean, good. and and the beauty of it, he sells it in small bottles. And you know what? You do not need a lot. You don't need a lot. You need. I mean, it's tasty oil. Well, we'll show you. We'll show you the whole thing. Doc, what do you think? Let's go taste some oil. Let's go. Let's, go, let's go show okay. them what we got here. All right. Okay. Great. Hi, welcome back, folks. We're at the beautiful Quail and Olives olive, uh, shop in uh, beautiful Carmel Valley. And I'm with Dr. Brabeck, who is the proprietor and the mastermind behind this unbelievable store. You've got to be congratulated what you're doing here because, man, this is educational. Go through and show people what kind of sure. other oils you got, please. Okay, thanks, John. You're welcome. <coughs> well, we've got several flavored oils, and generally flavored oils have gotten a bad rap because most oils are flavored by what's called the infusion process. Uh, and that infusion process breaks the oil down, including those very health-producing polyphenols. Uh -huh. uh, so I don't sell an infused oil, uh, product here. Uh, these are all made, the, our flavored oils are all made from full fruit or full herbs that are crushed the morning of olive harvest. They go right in the mill with the olives and they're milled all the way through. It's made wow. by one family called, they're uh, the Shabikas out of Modesto. Uh, they've been doing it for a few generations. They really know their business and make just an elegant product. Not only does it taste great, it's preserved the integrity of the oil and all the health benefits of the wow. oil. Terrific. So. Good. So we also have uh, some fun, rather unusual ones here. Uh, this is truly, it's a vegan bacon oil. Yes, folks, it's a vegan <laughs> bacon. You got me saying folks now. <laughs> this is, it's vegan. It's, uh, it's, uh, there are no piggies in this at all. It's vegan certified. It's marvelous on cruciferous vegetables, you know, kale, collard greens, Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. spinach salad. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We have a butter flavored olive oil. Again, there's no butter or dairy products in that. Uh, great for popcorn and just think of anything you'd use butter on. Um, the rest of these, again, are jalapeno and habanero. I always tell people, taste this last. It's the last thing you'll be tasting. Uh, it's made with fresh habaneros uh, ground with the olives the morning of olive harvest. Jeez. And these are all California oils, California fruits, California herbs. Wow. All fresh. Now, before we do a tasting, I want Doc to explain to you folks that these trees are all grown here. They are you, you explain it. Yeah, John, the trees, all the trees that the olives come from for this oil, all of them are within four hours of here. Wow. Some very lo uh, local. We have a couple oils that are just down the road here. But these are all California, all Central California oils, um, which is real important. I will handle only California oil here. And these are all certified extra virgin by the California Olive Oil Council, which is the strictest certification process in the world. These are great oils. So let me get this straight. These are Italian, or these are 
European olive trees that are grown here. Absolutely, just like very think different, folks. Yeah, like wine grapes. Exactly, everything grown yep. here. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Exactly. The and same. like wine grapes, each of these varietals have a different flavor profile, yes. even a different culinary use. Amazing, so, amazing. Yeah. I haven't learned any. I mean. I'm just starting to learn. You said other color. I mean, now I learned about this butter, the bake. I, okay, let's taste some oils. Let's taste them. Go ahead. Okay. What do we want to taste? Well, let's start. I'd like to start with the Bobcat Ridge. Okay. Okay. Yep. And this uh, particular oil is very fresh, just harvested a few months ago. It's grown right down toward the mouth of the valley up on the ridge. So it's a very local oil. And it's a combination of two varietals both Spanish varietals, Arbequin and Arbisana. Well, let me, let's demonstrate how you taste an oil. Okay. Basically, taste, it, taste an oil, it's like wine tasting. You see, there's no bread here. No. Because we want to taste the oil, not really? the bread. Okay. So, it's the four S's, swirl, sniff, slurp, and swallow. When we first swirl, this is a regulation tasting cup. It's blue to cover up the cover color of the olive because the color has nothing to do with the quality of the olive oil. It fits in the palm of the hand to allow you to warm the oil and gently swirl it to release the aromatics. Those are those phenols and related compounds wow. that give that beautiful smell to the olive oil. Mm -hmm. And basically we're going to drink olive juice. That's what this is. Wow. So we put our hand over to concentrate those aromatics. Then we, mmm, that's a wonderful Wonderful olive, mm. green tomatoes, mm, very a lot green, of yes. nice. Mm. And then we slurp because we want to get it all the way to the posterior pharynx because mm. mm. you know there's taste buds and right. palate and it mixes with the air coming down. Mm. Wow. You got beautiful. Holy and now you're going to feel those phenols coming, that peppery feeling. <coughs> Boy, I'm the one clearing my throat instead of you this time. Uh, Amazing. But th th oh yeah, this has caused the uh, burning feeling you get about three to five seconds after is caused by one of the polyphenols called <coughs> oleocanthal. Yep. And These the are intensely anti-inflammatory, incredibly healthy for the lining of our blood vessels. And they're responsible for a good deal of the health benefits of the oil. Mm. So great taste, great health. You just improved your health just drinking this. This this is the most intense. I mean, that's why you only mm. need drops of this when you yeah. flavor food. That I yeah. feel like I'm going to show you that. Mm -hmm. And guess what, folks? You can't get drunk drinking this either. Yeah, <laughs> you can drink and drive. <laughs> we're the only tasting room you can drink and drive here. So we're in the back room of the store here. Uh, not far to go. It's not a very big store, but. What we have here are a lot of our other merchandise besides the oils. We have a full range of beautiful olive wood. And I'd like to introduce someone very briefly here. Aga, could you come out, please? Uh, this young lady is responsible for the beautiful displays we have. Uh, this is Aga Simpson. Hello. And uh, she's responsible for all the beautiful displays we have and for doing a lot of the merchandising for us. It's her genius that finds a lot of these products. Thank you, Steve. Aga, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. So we've got, besides these beautiful things that Aga has got for us, uh, we have a full range of vinegars. These are made, all except one of these are made by one vinegar masker south of here in Atascadero, uh, Craig Clark at Chaparral Gardens, and he's a wizard at vinegars. These are made with full fruits re-fermented in either a California vinegar balsana base or a champagne, California champagne vinegar or grain-based vinegar. Uh, a lot of effort goes into that. People usually don't do that anymore. It's called the Orleans method, but it'll start with a regular vinegar, puts a mother of vinegar into the vat to get the fermentation re-going, and then say for our blackberry vinegar, he pours in bushels of his blackberries from his organic, from his uh, gardens, he's an organic farmer, and lets that re-ferment for several months until he gets the flavor he wants. Beautifully crafted vinegars, uh, brimming also with antioxidants and health benefits. Uh, so these, these marry wonderfully with the olive oils out front. Now we're back into the uh, little side room in the back here. And in back here we have some wonderful pastas. We have our beautiful honeys, some of them very local Carmel Valley honeys, uh, all California honeys. Um, 
several different salts. We have polentas, some olives, we have tapenades. Uh, some of our tapenades over here are made by a chef down in Paso Robles. These are just absolutely fantastic and unique. And we have several books as to Mediterranean cooking, healthy ways of cooking. Uh, one book that is the Bible is Extra Virginity here. This is the one that we were talking about earlier, all the scam going on in the olive oil world. This is the book that exposed a lot of it. Wow. It's a wonderful read. I've read it, I don't know how many wow. times. It's just a good read. Yeah. It's written by a journalist, an investigative journalist. Yeah. So he does good writing. Yeah. Folks, stay with us. There's a lot more to learn. We're going to do a little cooking. But there's so many varieties. You've got to come down and see what he's doing. I mean, Doc is doing amazing. I mean, it's an education here. Stay with us and learn about olive oil. Folks. Don't be ripped off anymore. Okay? We'll be right back. Okay? Very good. Okay, welcome back, folks. We're in Carmel Valley with the Doc and this beautiful place here called olive and the quail or the quail and the olive or the quail and the olive <laughs> either way works it's 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 right in the smack dab in the middle of the village here please you got to come out and try these oils it'll change your mind possibly even change your life mm. uh you see what it did to me in there <laughs> <laughs> almost ended your life <laughs> But that's because I'm so sensitive to it. But you know, when I came, I said, I gotta cook, do a little cooking. So driving out here, we made a stop down by, by some trees, mm -hmm. and I went and I found these. These are called giant cypress agaricus. And uh, I said, wow, we'll cook these for a little taste oh, with your olive oil. Yeah, yeah, wasn't that yes. nice? Yes. Yep. And uh, yeah, so I'll cut these guys up. And we also got some other stuff too. And we're gonna use that Tuscan oil with this. Boy, look at that. Mm. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Mm. It doesn't get any simpler than this. See how nice it browns up? And yep, we're cooking with extra virgin olive oil. Oh. It's good for you. And it's good for you. Man, I tell you. I just love this idea you've done. I, 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 this is one of the most exciting food events that I've really attended, to be honest with you. Well, thank I mean, you. that's how much I've learned. Well, we're just excited you know. that you're excited. Yeah. Well, this is wonderful. I have to, uh, it's just it's an education. A little garlic, it never goes wrong. That smelling, boys? Mm -mm. No, you want why does that smell? You want people to go crazy? They're gonna come in here wanting to eat. Uh, I think they will. <laughs> that wind's blowing the right way. We'll put a little butter. How about a little pepperoncino? Mm, just a little one. Mm. Ah, see, not, not bad in California. Or America, I should say. Still okay in America. <laughs> You won't believe the flavor this oil is going to give to this. So I would put wine, give it a little acid, we're going to give it lemon. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm -mm. Okay, here we go. See this before? Yeah. Put some of that, yeah. Good pasta water. Okay, now you're gonna see some magic. Just uh, thickens up. Yep. See how it's starting to thicken? Mm -hmm. Yep. How about a little bit more oil? Right here, Jim, right here. I'm gonna throw a little piece of butter just for a little flavor. And then we're gonna put 
all these nice herbs. I got some basil. I got some fresh oregano. I got these wild onions. Let's put this in so it kind of cooks a little bit. And if you hand me the cheese, What I'm using here is uh, Pecorino Romano. Put a little, just a little in, just to kind of make that sauce. You know, a John, more. I feel like I'm at mass and I'm an altar boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, <laughs> Let's give it another good shot of pepper. Okay, this is done. This is done, folks. Dish, please. More cheese. Okay. Another dish. Cheese. Remember, we gotta come out here, taste these oils. It's either you can call it quail and olive oil or olive oil and quail. <laughs> it works either way, John. It works either I'm way. So sorry. How do you say it? The quail and olive. The quail and olives, John. Quails are state bird, yes. and we're all about California stuff. Okay. And olives. Good. Okay, thanks for watching the show. Uh, we're going to taste this now. I can't wait. Uh, Neither can, can I. <laughs> but Doc, thank you so hey, much. Hey, thanks so much, John. Absolutely it. appreciate it. My pleasure. And folks, okay. remember, you've got to come and learn about oil. And read that book, too. It'll open your eyes. It'll change your life. See you next time. Come on, girls. Start eating. <laughs> <laughs>